Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Virgo December 13, 2022. You begin the day particularly goal-focused and concerned with your practical priorities. Later today, events and interactions in your social circle or with friends can be revealing if you read between the lines. Hidden aspects of others or even of yourself can dramatically alter your perceptions. You are less concerned with what others expect of you and more interested in enjoying yourself. With creative projects, hobbies, or love connections, there's a more serious quality they can deepen or require more time from you. Someone's dedication can be impressive. Your emotions and intuition have been giving you signals that something is about to shift and change as of late. That's because mental Mercury, our cosmic messenger planet and the ruler of the mind and communication, has been spinning in the depths of your solar fourth house of home, family, and domesticity. However, beyond that, he has also recently officially begun his pre-shadow phase as we approach an upcoming retrograde that will dominate the end of December and January. Be especially aware of what seems to be off, especially if you live with your spouse or significant other. Get your social calendar in order. You have places to be and people to see at the beginning of your workweek while the moon is transiting through popular Leo. If anyone can be counted on to network or touch base, it will be you. The dedication of this fiery lunation might be what you need to keep yourself on the go as you connect with colleagues far and wide, on and offline. Although this might be a socially exhausting time, you can use it to your advantage to seek opportunities to fulfill your professional aspirations. As the moon leaves your career sector today this last visit for the year will do more than just leave you with your professional instincts and imagination fueled. The last few days have given you a lot of insight across the income, work and career fronts just as Jupiter has moved into his final days in your work sector. You really enjoy something that is presented with care and dedication. One reason you enjoy dining in fine restaurants is because of the artistry involved in the food presentation but guess what? You can try this at home. Colorful vegetables are a great way to start. There are several colors of squash peppers, tomatoes, and beans. Try tantalizing your taste buds and your appreciation of careful preparation. As you also appreciate well-made tools, consider equipping your kitchen with the appropriate knives and cooking gear. Preparing your own meal can be pure pleasure. Hile the majority of your time as is likely to be spent gaining new experiences today is the day to share some of what you know. Don't be shocked if you are called upon to teach or lead a group of people. And don't hesitate, either. You have innate leadership abilities, and while standing in front of a crowd, even virtually, may not be your favorite thing to do, you have much to offer. Go for this if the opportunity presents itself, as you are certain to enjoy yourself once underway. With no planetary activity in your career sector, as the moon leaves and wraps up its last visit for the year it leaves you with everything needed to bring this professional year home with confidence. Partly because this has left you with your professional instincts sharp and partly because this last visit before Jupiter leaves your work sector has given you a better read on the planet of luck and expansion and how to hitch your wagon to where things are going on the job front. Two days after Venus, the planet of love left your communication sector and with Mercury, the planet of communication having left three days earlier, the sun moves into his final ten days here today. It is the sun who will keep the communication lines open until Jupiter returns to your relationship sector, something that will give this new phase in an ongoing relationship chapter a head start. Our eyes in the sky. The moon opposes Pluto this morning, so set boundaries with anyone who is confrontational with you. A lot of uncertainty could hang in the air, and we might feel as though we're unclear personally and collectively. Avoid being reactive right now. A small argument could lead to a big disagreement. Made to feel welcome and easily accepted by everyone you meet, make sure to return the love receive in equal measure, and you're able to win over people who become lifelong friends. With such a welcoming and positive attitude toward the people you meet, there is even a chance that you discover the one love interest that previously eluded you. 
Amazed at how easy everything seems to be, use this opportunity to tackle or conclude as many issues as possible and be prepared for more stressful or difficult circumstances that may arise in the future. Counting on the support of those you know, it's important to reciprocate the kindnesses you receive, to be sure of getting any further help. The afternoon has us in a much calmer mood, though there's a brooding intensity to the vibe, so you might need to be mindful of your attitude. Be sure to release any frustration from this morning so you can make space for happier times. You're not getting as much done as you need to, and letting things slide. Although this makes you popular and fun to spend time with, you let some people down when they need a more practical involvement, or when problems need to be solved. Or else, instead of getting important things done, you're far too easily distracted by trivial matters. At nightfall, a supportive energy gives your psychic senses a boost, so be sure to connect only with people who have good intentions toward you and want to help raise you up. This evening is perfect for psychic dream work, so ask the other side to bring you messages as you drift off to the astral realms. In the morning, the Cancer Moon opposes Pluto in Capricorn, stimulating an uncomfortable reconciliation with our shadow. Emotional tides tug buried matter out of our psychological depths. Confrontations with family or partners may provoke irrational or possessive behavior. However, it is just as likely that we will project turbulent feelings onto others, accusing them without cause. Behind these irrational impulses are fears, fears of abandonment perhaps, or of being manipulated. If you feel anxious, try not to leap to worst-case scenarios. Where friction occurs is mostly you that is to blame, and this is where any criticism lies. Your temper makes you feel as if people are constantly trying to obstruct you. Work out what you want and tell your loved ones how much they mean to you. To enable you to you feel more relaxed, you need to make some compromises. Problems you face are difficult to overcome when in your effort to solve them you still use the same approach. Change your method, come up with a new strategy and don't allow others to change your mind or alter your plans. A solution is totally within your grasp, with self-confidence, you overcome any intractable problems and take charge of the situation. Later in the morning, the moon trines Jupiter in Pisces, offering a burst of much-needed positivity. Although this aspect will not necessarily calm the anxieties born of the Moon-Pluto opposition, it will help us to escape Plutonian tunnel vision. This difficult cosmic weather will soon pass. Most significantly, the Moon-Jupiter trine allows us to talk honestly with others. We are not in this struggle alone. Nor is it our job to suppress our emotions or prioritize another's comfort over our safety. In addition to improving our relationships, this influence enhances our sense of connection with spirit, source, or the cosmos. The moon then begins a short void of course, suggesting we spend the next hour in a space of reflection instead of initiation and action.